Clifford and Emily Elizabeth love playing hide and seek with their friends. So we want to teach you how to make a Clifford clothespin so you have a little Clifford to hide around your house and play hide and seek with in your own home. Before you start, make sure to ask a grown up for help with the parts of the activity that use scissors. You will need red, white, and black construction paper, foam, or felt, a pencil and red and black washable magic markers, a clothespin, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, which you will need to ask a grown-up to assist you with, and a scrap piece of paper to keep your work surface clean. First, we will start by drawing Clifford's head and ears. On your red piece of paper, use your pencil to sketch a peanut-shaped head. The shape should look a bit like a large oval, but with small indents in each side. Next, sketch two long and skinny ovals. These will be Clifford's ears. On your black piece of paper, sketch a small triangle with rounded edges for Clifford's nose. Finally, use your black marker to draw Clifford's eyes on your white piece of paper, making sure to draw two small ovals with dark black circles at the bottom of each. Next, ask a grown-up to cut out all of your shapes. Using your glue stick, it is time to assemble Clifford. Flip over your peanut-shaped oval and glue your small ovals to the top back of Clifford's head. Flip the head face forward again and adjust the ear so that they flop out on each side of Clifford's face. Next, use a large dot of glue to glue your black triangle to the center of Clifford's face, making sure that the point of the triangle is pointing down. Finally, glue both of Clifford's eyes above his nose, pressing all of your shapes down to make sure everything sticks. Using your black marker, Add a big smile to Clifford's face by drawing two semicircles beneath the nose, making sure that they meet at the center. Move Clifford's head aside and use your red marker to color every side of the clothespin. Before we can continue, you must wait one hour for the marker to dry. Last but not least, use a generous amount of glue to attach Clifford's head to the side of the clothespin that is tightly fastened. Press firmly down to secure Clifford's head to the clothespin, and voila! You have your very own Clifford clothespin to play hide and seek. If you want to make the hunt a bit trickier, remember to camouflage Clifford by hiding your clothespin in and around things in your home that are red. This will make our big red friend harder to spot. Can't get enough Clifford? To watch full episodes, check out Amazon Prime Video or PBS Kids and discover more Clifford stories everywhere books are available.